Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live, where I'm joined now by Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, Little Anthony. Little Anthony, how are you doing today? I am actually wonderful. How are you, dear? I am doing great, and even better now that I'm talking to you, I hear you have a new PBS documentary coming out. Would you mind telling me all about this? Yeah, it, I'm part of an ensemble of, um, of folks. Uh, uh, it's called The Green Book, and The Green Book is what uh, Blacks used back in the day uh, during times of the horrible time of segregation. Mm -hmm. And when they travel around the South, in a lot of places they could not stay. So they, they needed to know where to go. And this book would tell them hotels, where restaurants are, where other musicians were, if you needed a piano player, you needed that. And they call it the Green Book, which was used. We still use it. We just call it the Black Book now, because it's the same thing. But we don't have to look for hotels and places, unless we're just looking for a particular hotel uh, so we want to stay in. But in those days, you had to find where to stay because you couldn't stay in the regular hotels because of segregation so that's what this is about it's not that we're singing the songs of that era and in fact they and the producers on uh and pbs decided to do because it was the time that duke ellington was there and they decided to do the music of that time of the green book and which we did it on some i think it was darlene love mm -hmm. our hewitt myself uh, uh johnny Britt, who works with me he's, one of the finest jazz musicians, proper players in the world. And we did this with the, with a 17 piece orchestra, which will consisted of some of the survivors of the Basie's band, some of Stan Kenton's band. It was really, really special. I mean, yeah, you have songs in here that a lovely way to spend an evening, uh, you know, what a difference a day makes, who's sorry now. Mm -hmm. So all of those type of songs are going to be featured in the documentary. Well, not all of those, but what a difference a day make, yes. We did it, we did it in a swing tempo, uh, and then we did a, a, a ensemble of all of us singing together a medley of the Duke Ellington songs. So, and uh, so it's basically taking your music and bringing it back to the time where it was written to kind of help people better understand what was going on yeah. during that time. Yeah, because we were doing this stuff with Duke Ellington's um, mm -hmm. just well, great stuff, and the big bands, which would be, you know. And so to put that picture, word picture, uh, well, yeah, word with picture, and so that people get a better idea of that particular era, so they can they can sort of line up and say, oh yeah, that's the that those songs I know, or my mom or dad played those songs, or oh that's when that happened, you know. Yeah. So I think that that's that's what they were trying to do. And you know, based off our political climate that we're in right now, why do you think it's so important? And, you know, why do you think the timing is really good here with this documentary being released? First of all, because it's happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can't tear down our past to, to suit our feelings of today. That don't, that won't work. You're, you're, you're going to get what truth is. We've had that stuff, bad, good, or indifferent. That's a part of the American, the American experience. Unfortunately, there are forces out there are trying to destroy that. We lose the identity of who we are. Mm -hmm. um, out of all of that chaos, great men came out of there. Great people did great things. Great inventions of, of blacks who did many wonderful things. So those are the things we have to be, uh, focus on as well as the fact that it was pretty rough. So that it, we, you know, somebody said, and I'm not sure who said, not to learn from one's history is to condemn you to repeat it. Mm. So I think that that's what we, that they were trying to do. We're trying to, to say, hey, we're this is America. This is no, uh, this is no fantasy. Like, oh, this is utopia, utopia. Oh, gold. The streets are made of gold. And no, we struggle, we fight. But what we have in common is called freedom, freedom of thought freedom of, of being an individual, freedom of understanding who you are, where you are, and what you're about. And that's what the good and the bad, you gotta have both. I you you just can't, you can't make a meal with one ingredient. You can't have a rainbow without the rain, right? As they say. Yeah. Well, it does sound like a wonderful documentary and I just wanna quickly you know, finish on, do you have anything else new coming in the in the next couple months that uh, we can expect from you here, Mr. Anthony? Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm going out two and a half months on the, on the Happy Together Tour with Gary Puckett, mm -hmm. Union Gap, 
the Turtles and a bunch of gazillion and other people that are from the 70s and, and late 60s and stuff like that. We just did this album we just were talking about called um, Little Anthony and the Music, the anthology of, of Little Anthony, which is really a, a history of who I was when I was 17 all the way up to 82. Mm -hmm. I've actually been blessed enough to be in three different uh, decades. I mean, three different eras, the late 50s, middle 60s, and the early 70s. Each one of them I had hit records. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Mr. Anthony. And we, um, you know, encourage people to go out there and watch that PBS documentary that is showing right now, as well as listen to Little Anthony and the music and anthology. Thank you so much, Little Anthony, for coming thank on our show today. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. All right.